Hi, so today we are going to go on a little adventure with Annabella um, and we're going to take Archie along as well just for moral support. We're going to Willow's Veterinary Referral Centre. Um, as most of you know, Ella's been struggling a little bit at the moment. We don't know what's wrong with her. She's had loads of tests done on her liver and her bladder and her kidneys and her skin. She's had biopsies and blood tests and urine tests and you name it. So today we're going to neurology to have a little dig around and see what we can find um, see if we can find out what's what's going on with her. She's had two seizures in the last year and a half um, and she's had some funny little things going on with her skin and I'm just I'm desperate to get to the bottom of it and hopefully today we will just uncover a few more stones. <music> Neurologist that we went to see was brilliant. Um, she was happy to um, say that she felt that Ella has idiopathic epilepsy, and that that's very common in the breed. Um, she did a whole bunch of different little tests to see her reactions to things and push her off balance to see whether or not she had um, rebalanced. She checked out uh, optic nerve behind her eye and things like that. Uh, we didn't, the only thing that we didn't do, the only box that wasn't ticked was the um, uh, MRI scan. Uh, we didn't do that because she felt that, she said that we were, if we were gonna do an MRI scan, we would be doing it because she's really confident that it's not gonna show anything up. Um, and she felt, considering Ella's got a really poor history of recovery from anaesthetic, that it was quite a, a risk and quite um, quite an ethical dilemma, really. And actually, she'd be better off not having that. Um, and then she was, she said, she was very confident if she did it, they wouldn't find anything anyway. She'd be, almost be looking to not find anything. So then, after that, we went to the dermatologist. Now, originally, we were kind of going to, for the to the dermatologist to look at um, the problem that Ella's been having with her skin. She changed colour uh, this year <laughs> from red to cream and now she's gone red again. Um, and also she had these funny little uh, like dots, like these little bald dots come up on her when we were away and she was with Jo. Um, and so that's what, I, that's what I thought we were going to see the dermatologist for. But, um, and that was what we were going to see him for originally. And then they were going to refer us to the um, to medicine or to a different department to have a look at her, the stuff that was going on with her vulva. But he looked at that as well. Um, and what he did is he did uh, like a sellotape test. So he, he stuck a bit of sellotape on it and pulled it off and then looked under the microscope and looked at what it was. And he's found like a yeast infection. Like, so she's got quite a severe bacterial infection, um, probably, possibly because of the folds um, in her vulva because she's got a particularly hooded funny shaped one and she could have a she could have That's a design of vagina and we could operate and give her a, like a design of vagina um, but for the moment what we're doing is we're doing these wipes which should um, reduce the infection and hopefully kill it off and then hopefully that'll keep her going and she'll be better and not irritated and stuff down there so really good, really good diet. I felt really pleased that they found something because we've done so many tests and not found anything at all. And then when he put this thing on the microscope, he showed us and it's like so clear that all these little peanut shaped things that were clearly a problem. Um, and it was nice to find something that had been irritating her and feel like I've got a solution to it. Um, and also it was, I, felt, I feel really relieved that the neurologist was happy that it wasn't uh, cancer or or any of those horrible big ones that scare the shit out of you the specialists there are fantastic they're really specialists they know what they're talking about and it shows and they're very passionate about their different um their different specialisms so good day mm. good, good day, day. 